wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Woolly Bear is the 25th episode of the second series based on the story of the same name for the Valley series book, Tramway Engines. This was the last episode in the second series to be based on a story by Robert Audrey. But does it still hold up? Let's take a look. In summer, Lon Hay grows beside the line and work gangers cut it and rake it into heaps to dry in the sun. Percy then collects the hay in empty trucks and takes them to the station. There, Toby collects the trucks and takes them to the farmers to feed their stock on the hills. One day, Percy arrives at the station and starts to tease Thomas for thinking he was a ghost. Thomas retorts that Percy is a green caterpillar with red stripes, which makes Percy angry. Thomas then reminds Percy that he has been late at the station every afternoon throughout the week. Percy tells Thomas that it's the hay that is making him late, but Thomas is not interested in Percy's excuses and Percy leaves. Percy grumbles to himself during the afternoon that he is only late by a few minutes, but nevertheless, he and his driver decide to head to the station early after going to the harbour to drop off some trucks. At the harbour, however, there is trouble. A loose crate of treacle hanging over Percy drops and splatters all over him. The workmen at the harbour try to clean him up, but Percy has to leave and is still very sticky when he does. Soon, Percy comes to the hill where the hay is laying, and by now it is very windy, which blows the hay up and onto the track. The line climbs here, so Percy's driver advises him to take a run at it. But Percy's wheels keep slipping on the hay and he must wait for the line to be cleared. When he does so, the wind blows some of the hay onto Percy and it clings to his sticky boiler. At the station, Thomas waits impatiently for a very late Percy. Suddenly, all the passengers start laughing when Percy arrives, as he is now completely covered in hay, apologising for his late arrival. Thomas laughs, saying Percy has crawled out of the hay. Percy does not know what Thomas is talking about, but Thomas tells him that seeing him like a hairy caterpillar is worth being late. Percy runs back to the shed, where his driver shows him what he looks like in a mirror. Now Percy knows why everyone was laughing at him, stating that he looks like a woolly bear. He has to be cleaned before Toby arrives, not knowing that Thomas has already told Toby everything. In the end, it does not matter. When Toby and Thomas arrive, Percy is still a long way from being cleaned causing the two to make jokes about woolly bear caterpillars and other creatures that crawl about in the hay. Percy does not find these jokes very funny at all. This was a nice karma episode for everyone to watch in the second series after seeing Ghost Train. And it has a really good sequel to it as well, reminding everybody about Percy's ghostly trick that he played on Thomas. And it's nice to see that Thomas still has a little grudge against Percy for doing it, carrying on with the frenemy trope. And even though this story was actually written before Better Late Than Never in the Railway series timeline, they do make a reference to it in this episode for the TV series timeline, with Thomas's Times timeline, and the fact that Thomas gets really impatient when engines make him late at the junction. And it's one of the funniest episodes of the TV series as well. Seeing Percy covered in treacle and then hay, it's just one of the funnier episodes of the series. I especially love Percy's reaction to seeing himself in the mirror. His driver showed him what he looked like in a mirror. Bust my buffers! No wonder they all laughed. I'm just like a woolly bear. And that moment where the crate of treacle falls onto Percy at the harbour has always been a highlight for me. I just always look forward to seeing it every time I rewatch the episode. <laughs> A crate of treacle was upset all over Percy. Whoops. A bigger part of it is because of that little ditty Michael Donner and Junior Campbell made for the scene. It's another one of those little ditties that tells you that something bad's gonna happen right before it actually happens. Without being too dramatic. And that quick shot of Percy looking shot to shutting his eyes before the impact, it's just so superbly done. It was amazing how they were able to keep the camera in the exact same spot before they changed the face mask. That's just another example of what a great director David Mitten was, making the transition shots look flawless. Though one thing that might rub people the wrong way a little bit is the fact that the narrator Sir Ringo Starr says that playing ghosts is a sensible thing compared to talking about woolly bear caterpillars, but I would hardly consider playing ghosts as a sensible thing. 
but eh, it's a fun little bit of writing that takes us back to the Ghost Train episode. Woolly Bear is another fun episode that I do recommend checking out if you love the fun episodes of the TV series. It's another episode that centres around Percy, has a really funny plotline, and it's a nice little sequel slash callback to Ghost Train. It may not have any runaways, chases, or crashes, but it's definitely one of the more fun episodes that's worth checking out, especially if you love stories centred around Percy the Small Engine. Unlike when I reviewed series 1 episode by episode last year, I wanted to keep the episodes in episode number line rather than mixing them up, so you'll be seeing Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree tomorrow. Until then, have a very Merry Christmas, folks.